Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell Podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. Pleased to be joined by Christian Rose, who has some pretty big news to announce. Uh, he's going to be driving full-time in the Arca Menard Series for AM Racing, driving the number 32 Ford for the team. Christian, I know that this uh, you've been waiting to you've been waiting to announce this, and now it's finally here. Um, uh, how excited are you about this? I, I, this is a opportunity of a lifetime. This this really is the best way to put it. Um, this this has been a dream scenario. It's been a dream off season. Um, things came together really the the best way you, a driver could ever want them really to come together, and it's just been incredible. I'm I'm excited for the opportunity. I think there's a lot of uh, really exciting things happening here, and um, I'm excited to showcase it. it it's uh, we're we're kind of coming off a rebound season from last year, and that's that's what I'm looking forward to is uh, really show that we can go out there and and, and take the next step forward and really compete and and uh, run consistently in the top five and and uh, click top tens, top fives, and fight for wins eventually as the season goes. Yeah, you you've got a pretty unique story yourself. Of of course, um, you know I know that you were in racing last year. Of course, um, you know we're driving for Bruce Cook and all that, and of course also. Before that, you were also a college baseball player. So, uh, of course, um, you know we've we've known your team. Of course, you've been on here before. Uh, what what's just like to have everything kind of come together for you um, in in these uh, in these last few weeks? Yeah, it's uh, the baseball like transition in the race, and it, it helps a lot more than I think a lot of people would think. And uh, the reason behind that is it's still a team atmosphere. Racing is still a team deal. It comes from the top all the way down to whoever's sweeping the force in the shop. It, it's a complete team effort to get to the racetrack, a complete team effort to get back to um, back to the shop. So uh, from the hauler driver to all the moving parts in between, people who book flights, everything that goes into it. So baseball's the same way. It, it's a team atmosphere. You're around the guys. You're around the people that make it happen. Um, so coming into these few weeks and getting ready, it feels like spring training or it feels like college practice right before you get ready to roll into a season. That's kind of the best way I, I could put it. The off-season and racing is very similar um, to the prep and then the preparation, everything that goes into getting ready for a full-time run. Um, same deal about baseball. I feel like any professional sport along those lines, you have that winter months where everybody's, unless it's football or basketball, where you're itching to get back. And I'm sure they had the same feeling in the summertime, but very similar. Um, you know, you talk about just some of the things in the, the getting this opportunity, you know, is huge because, um, not only you're going to run some ARCA race, you're going to run the full ARCA season, but you've also got, you've also, it's coupled with another announcement as well. Yeah, it's, uh, we're, we're hoping to run a, a good amount of truck starts uh, towards the summer months and the back half, try to uh, leapfrog hopefully into 2024. Um, but yeah, it's uh, really exciting to be able to take those next steps and, and hopefully uh, run a, a decent amount of races on, on the truck side. Uh, um, we're working on funding, securing a couple more of those deals to get done. But uh, if everything goes to plan, goes the way it would, we, we're excited to uh, take the arc of knowledge and, and take the next step. You know, this is a big year for the series because for the first time um, in basically in season history, uh, all races will be on the Fox family of networks. That was announced before before 2022 ended. But overall, um, just exciting that you get to be on a bigger platform now. Uh, to showcase um, not just um, um, for all 20 races, but also more exposure for your sponsors as well. Yeah, it's, a, it's an incredible opportunity. Uh, there's really not a, a better way to put it, I guess, than that. It sounds very cliche, but the fact that, you know, you were going to get the run on national television every week is, a, is an awesome uh, platform for ARCA. It's an awesome platform for our sponsors. It, it helps us a ton to be able to, you know, take a sponsor and say, hey, look, we're going to be on TV every week, live TV. Um, it, it really helps the sport in so many ways on the ARCA side of things. And it's very exciting to see ARCA have that, not just for this year, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's for next year as well. Um, so for the series, it's incredible for the drivers and everybody in the teams and everybody that's involved in it. It's, a, it's an incredible opportunity um, to, to showcase your skills. And really, I think it's going to give a lot more exposure, a lot more fan access to what the ARCA series is, because there, you see there's a huge involvement of truck and Xfinity and Cup from the, from the fan side. I think this is an opportunity where ARCA really gets that jump. Um, where fans recognize the people and the drivers that are consistently on a weekly basis in the ARCA series. Speaking of fan exposure, um, you know, we, I know we talked about this as well, but I know that you're planning on doing some, uh, a lot, uh, maybe some more of that stuff this year. Of course, um, actually where we actually first met in person was at, um, was at Southview High School for uh, the Toledo Championship Weekend, um, getting to show off, um, you showing up in a fire suit to talk to, uh, 
high schoolers about opportunities in racing. Um, and I know that, um, I know you want to do a lot more of that. Yeah. I mean, that's a, it was an incredible opportunity last year. I, I think you saw the turnout um, for, for what it did. I, I thought it was incredible for Toledo and I'd love to see ARCA and, and, and that platform use that again or championship weekend, but I'd love to be able to step out and, and really talk to high school kids. I've talked to you personally on this. I think that there's a, a, an edge and a way to get more young, like youth into the sport on the fan side um, from high schools and, and elementary schools or whatever they exposed on the racing. And then if you got a dream of racing, I, I wish I had that opportunity growing up to, to hear from people in the sport on how to get into it. Cause I had no clue. I was a baseball kid. I had no, my family wasn't involved. Um, I think there's an opportunity to really bring people into the sport and then also educate people on, you know, how cool of a deal this is. We, I think we've seen what F1's done on the Netflix side, you know, how many people have jumped on F1 just because it's, it's exposed, right? It's on TV. You get to watch it. Turn on Netflix. It's there. I think if we see NASCAR and ARCA and these platforms take that reach, I think it's really going to expand. Okay. Yeah, for sure. And um, it's also been a big year for, it's going to be a big year for you anyway, because uh, I correct me if I'm wrong, um sure. are you you're gonna be a dad in a few weeks uh honestly i could get a call in the middle of this call that i'm gonna be a dad so <laughs> it's uh it's um very exciting i can't wait i got a little boy on the way it's, it's a dream come true uh, i have the best wife in the world i'm building a beautiful family and get to live my dream on top of it it's it's uh very incredible to say the least so any day now um, hopefully we can get through the test down there in daytona and then uh you know without getting a call saying that i need to be back um, and then we're, we're green light, good to go. He'll be here any day. Awesome. Um, and, and just, um, you know, getting down to Daytona, we talked about the test. And obviously, um, what, what's that going to be like to go down there? Obviously, if obviously, because also you're, if we had to go there, but you know, of course you might be still on baby watch. But yeah. um, what's that going to be like to go down and test uh, at Daytona this weekend? Yeah, th this this time around, I'm so much more comfortable going into Daytona. Um, obviously, any driver that's never been on anything like Daytona last year, like I was, and every driver that comes through the ARC Series experiences that for the first time, it, you don't know what to expect. Your nerves are crazy. It's the, you go from a half-mile racetrack, probably to what most racers are on before they climb on the two-and-a-half-mile bank at Daytona. It's pretty intimidating. But uh, I, I, I know what we did last year in the test. I know the feeling, and I, I learned a lot on the draft side in the race. Um, so I'm actually very excited to go in and not just learn from the start, kind of attack the speedway and attack what we're going to do and game plan to get, get us ready. This is much more of a, let's, let's take this opportunity and get this car right for the race now versus last year. Let's go into it. Let's get you comfortable. Let's, let's feel it out. You know, it's a different experience. And that's going to be that way all year in ARCA this year too, which is exciting. What tracks are you most looking forward to this year? Mile and a half. Mile and a half, these bigger, fast racetracks. Our, our speed that we had at Kansas and Pocono and, and places, even Phoenix, like the places that have higher rates of speed, for some reason, I seem to take two a lot better. Um, I, I know I need to work on a short track craft, um, but the, the mile and a half and the bigger speedways are something I'm really, really looking forward to. Yeah, sounds good. All right. Well, Christian Rose, thank you so much for coming on and talking with us. Congrats on your announcement. We'll look forward to seeing you uh, this season and uh, good luck at day and good luck at Daytona. <laughs> thank you thank you so much man you you do an incredible job of this and then what you do on the platform from high school sports to the racing and everything in between you're incredible at it so thank you for covering us thank you allow for allowing us to have these opportunities no problem thank you thank you so much yep.